Hey sis, it's Christina Paulden here. I hope and pray you're doing well. I just wanted to come and say hello and just kind of give you a little update as to like what's going on with me currently. So um, a few months ago, I think it's been almost two months now, we did a 30-day social media fast. That fast was phenomenal. <laughs> it was so, it was just amazing. So many things has has happened even during the fast itself from day one up until like day 30, like things just kept happening. Favor after favor, blessings after break, blessings, breakthrough after breakthrough. Um, that fast has changed my whole life completely. There's so many things that has happened in my life within the past two months from that fast. Um, so I just wanted to come and just share a little bit with you about like what I'm doing currently. Um, so the social media fast pulled me and I think it was like 80 something other women away from social media for 30 days. I'm pretty sure um, some sisters did not do like the full 30 days. They went into it with the intention of like only doing seven days. But for the most part, you know, we were very intentional. We spent one month, I believe it was the month of April, preparing to walk away from social media. So this included us like preparing um, our post, you know, just figuring out how we're still going to run our businesses or just kind of still have a presence on social media while we're away from social media for 30 days. So the month of April, we just prepared. And then come May, May 1st, we hit the ground running. I think it was either May 1st or May 2nd. But um, it was really a phenomenal journey. Um, anytime I do a really big fast, like a long fast, I come out of it a totally different person. Um, Y'all know by now I fast constantly, like regularly, I should say. So I fast a lot, but those fasts is like more of like maintenance of just like spiritual maintenance of like, you know, okay, it's been a week. I'm sure I've done some things I wasn't supposed to do. You know, I'm sure, you know, some things is going on. So let me go ahead and fast and, you know, do some deliverance if, if I need it or whatever. But anytime I've done like a longer type of fast where I was intentional day after day after day, I come out a different person. So I'm so thankful and grateful for that. If y'all are not fasting, fast. It's like, it is the most easiest thing that you can do. Like, for the flesh, like it's not easy, right? Like it may be difficult to like go without the food, but it's not like it costs you anything, right? It's not like you have to have something in order to do it. It's not like you have to like be smart or you have to like have knowledge or anything. Like you're fasting, right? And it will completely change your life. Um, if you're familiar with me, you know that like fasting is my jam. Spiritual warfare is my jam. It's something that I... um. I don't want to say I like doing, but I understand that um, it's something that the it's how the father uses me. So I'm really big on like teaching other sisters how to do these things successfully. If you did not join us for the 30 day social media fast and you're interested, what I did during that fast also was we came off of Facebook and we were in our private community. It was a separate app. So we were able to still kind of, you know, stay like in the know and just kind of communicate and check in with each other. But during that time, um, I just kind of randomly recorded videos of like, what I'm what I'm experiencing, what, you know, the downloads and strategies I'm, I'm receiving, the revelations and things that I received, how I set things up, like how my day was running to make sure I was intentional with spending time with the father. And when, for me, this 30 days that I was, you know, doing this fast, it was not about petitioning anything. Like I wasn't going to the father asking for something for a breakthrough. It was really me realizing and understanding that the strategies and the blueprints and the things that I was doing, it wasn't working. And because of that, I knew that there had to be an easier way. Went on the fast to just pour into the father, to be intentional with spending time, you know, with the father so that if, if there was a download that I needed to receive, if there was a strategy that he had for me, I could receive it. Also, during that time, I let go of everything. I, I, my own strategies, my own, you know, thoughts and dreams and purpose and desires, all of that. I let go of all of that. And I can tell you that right now, two months after this social media fast, I am the happiest that I have ever been in my life. It is phenomenal 
how how this is working out. Um, I believe that me letting go of just things that just aren't serving me, right? They're just they're not doing anything for me, for my family, just being able to just kind of let it go. And then the father prompted me on, you know, what is important, what I need to be focusing on. And also um, during the social media fast, I was <clears throat> offered a position. So I'm back at work now and I am so happy. It is so, it's so crazy. But um, I'm able to just minister in a way that I was not able to do here, like in what with what I was doing before. Um, now every day I'm seeing a lot of people and I am able to allow the father to just use me to pour into these people. And um, it is just amazing. It is so, so, so amazing. So um, there's a lot that I want to share um, about this, but I wanted to come to say hello, to give you all another update. Two months after the 30-day um, social media fast, my life is completely different and I am the happiest I have ever been in my life. Like it's, it's, it's just joy and like happiness and like peace, right? Like it's hard to explain if you've never experienced it. But it's as I'm going through like my day to day, you know, I wake up in the morning and it's just like joy and I'm I'm just happy, right? And I'm just, I'm holding on to it. Like I'm not worried about like, you know, bad things, negative things. It's like, whatever, I don't care. I am just in awe of the father and how he's moving, how he's operating in my life, how he's showing up. Um, you know, and just in showing out and I'm super, super impressed, but um, it all came from that, that fast. Again, if you are not fasting, you need to be fasting. Okay. But I wanted to come to let you know about a new membership that I created um, while I was on the fast. Again, I was trying to figure out, um, let it go into my own strategies and my own blueprints or whatever, just allowing the father to really deposit some stuff into my um, to, into my soul. And um, one thing I'm really big on is spiritual warfare, right? But I realized, I don't know why, but no one talks about like the spiritual warfare side of things. So we're talking about like um, businesses, entrepreneurship, and even like some of the like biblical type of, um, let's just say coaches, you know, that are out there, no one is really shining the light on the enemy. You know, everyone is talking about like, be happy and just have faith and like, keep up the good work and don't even like pay the bad stuff. What is the saying? Attention goes, I can't even think of it, but it's like something about like, you know, if you pay attention to the bad, the more bad it happened, if you pay attention to the good, the more good it happened. Okay. Yeah. That may be true. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But <laughs> Are we not going to address the elephant in the room, right? Like these generational curses, right? Like the bondages that we're under, right? Like the poverty that that we have that's that's um preventing us from prospering in life and in um in business and in ministry or whatever. Are we not going to address like those things? I have been in a lot of programs, oh gosh, and mentors, um, uh, masterminds. Like I have been in in a lot of them. Some of them have been like faith-based some of them haven't been and no one is talking about the spiritual warfare side of it right like not from a biblical casting things out rebuking it covering yourself with the blood of Yahshua like no one is is doing that so I created something that does just that so um it is called the kingdom or the faithpreneur kingdom business club and this is for faithpreneurs so this is women who are who have business, but it's more of like a faith-based business, but know that these strategies, the things that you're going to be learning is just for life period, right? It doesn't matter. Like enemy doesn't matter who we are. You know, he's going, he's there. He attacks everybody. So it doesn't matter like who you are, but know that I am coming from a more of a business type of, um, of a, um, I'm coming more from a business type of what's the word? angle <laughs> i'm coming for um a business side of angle that um allows us to remove the enemy from our business so that we can then start to prosper you know we can then start to do what it is that we were created here to do but again the things that you're going to be learning you know inside of this club can be used for 
any parts of your life because the enemy is everywhere, right? So um, if you're interested in that, I will put a link in the comment section. It is a membership. It's only $9 a month, $9 a month. So you can just join for one month and just kind of figure out like, hey, is this something that you know I could use, something that I could benefit from? And then if not, then go ahead and just cancel. But if you see like you're in there, you're like, okay, I see kind of what's going on, the strategy. So if this is making sense, you know, I am having this issue and, you know, you're getting like deeper, you're you're getting deep into like what the issue is, right? Because everyone stays on the surface, like no one is like really like going deep down into it. And even if they go deep down into it, they still make it like your fault, like is is there, like this was your childhood. So like this, in order for you to like grow and move on, you have to deal with your childhood, right? I believe that you know, there's something that is in you. There is something on your bloodline that is blocking um, the father from being able to bless you or that's blocking the blessings that are already yours. You know, things that are in you that's causing you to just manifest or things that are in you that is causing you to be stuck or to be angry or to be bitter, you know, whatever. And once we deal with that, you will see how you will become a different person and how your life will change because we are removing the legal grounds. We're removing the enemy from these different types of situations, okay? So I will put a link in the comment section. If you're interested, just check it out. Again, it's just $9 a month. Join for one month and just kind of figure out like, hey, is this something that you know you could benefit from? But spiritual warfare, again, spiritual warfare is not pleasant, but it is something that is just like rooted in me, right? Like, I get excited about it, although it's like war, right? We're fighting and it's it's hard, it's difficult, it sucks, it's tired, it can be long, but this is like, this stuff like really excites me. So I'm excited to just kind of pour into the sisters that are interested in like getting set free, that's interested in hitting things from the spiritual warfare side of, of, of life, of that, that angle. So if you're interested, check out the comment section, but I just wanted to come and just, you know, say hello, give you all an update. You know, I know I was talking about through social media fast and, um, gosh, just, again, I let go of just everything, the strategies, the, 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 the blueprints that I had. So right now I don't really have a social media, um, strategy. That's why I haven't really been posting, but, I am okay with that. Like I am, the father is working in so many different ways. I am just super impressed. Um, I do think that social media is important, of course. But um, again, the father told me when I started right before, this is what actually prompted me to go into the social media fast, but he told me that there was an easier way. And so I am here to learn, to, to walk out the easier path that the father has given me when we're talking about like social media and showing up and reaching my people and all of that. So um, know that I may not be here now. I'm I'm here. Like I may not be here. I'm still out there, but I may not be here. If you are not on my emailing list, be sure to join because every week I'm I'm pouring in to sisters every Monday, 7 a.m. Um, we have a newsletter going out, and there's also bundles. Um, I've been involved in a whole lot of bundles, which is also changing my business because my email list is just growing and growing and growing. And again, this is a God move. This is something that the father is doing. He's putting me in these places that I would not have been in if I have not gone through this fast and let go of my own strategies. Because you start to show me things that were um, contradict contradicting the things that like the gurus and things were telling me, right? So what he was telling me as I received it, it's like, this doesn't make sense because, you know, they they told me, the people told me, you know, you want this, do this, do this, do this. But when I let go of everything that others were telling me and I said, Father, like, I'm ready. Just tell me what to do and I do it. And that's exactly what has been happening. And like, it's awesome. So um, if you're not on my emailing list, I am going to um, drop a link. I'm not sure what it's going to be, but I'm, I'm going to drop something that will allow you to just sign up to join my 
um, emailing list. It'd be like a freebie or something. But if you want to stay like in the know, I know like, again, my presence is not that big on Facebook right now, but I am still out there. I am still pouring. I am still ministering. And um, if you still kind of want to stay in the know, then be sure to get on my list. I will be back. But when I come back, I'm going to be like better than ever. Okay. Um, I just started a new program, a new coaching program. Super excited about that this week, right? So I'm not here right now, but I'm learning, I'm growing, I'm I'm building, I'm renewing, um, I am strategizing, I am again becoming a newer person better than I was before. So when I do show up in social media, my presence will be completely different. Okay. So there's no point in me trying to like keep up with everybody right now or keep up with with the social media just like posting just to have a presence right now because I I really am like I'm working on things in the background and I just don't have the time nor the energy to do it right now but know that I am pouring into myself and when I'm done pouring into myself I'll be back to pour into you but if you want to stay in the know be sure to join the um the emailing list okay also if you're interested in learning how to fight spiritually against the attacks that are coming towards you your business your family doesn't matter then be sure to check out the Faith Manure Kingdom Business Club, okay? If you have any questions, put them in the comment section and I'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.